Hello and welcome to A Wheel Thing TV, I'm Dave Canol. This week we're checking out the 2020 Hyundai Santa Fe ActiveX. It's the new addition to the range and comes in at around 50,000 plus on-road costs. Hyundai has added the ActiveX nameplate to the Santa Fe family, so it gives that little bit of extra flexibility to the way that the, the range uh, appeals to the family. So in this case, some 18-inch wheels. We've got this nice satin chrome finish on the door handles. And it's a 2.2-litre diesel in this particular vehicle rather than a 3.5-litre V6. So you've got more torque, and it really shows via that 8-speed automatic transmission and the all-wheel drive fitted for the diesel. The design itself is around two years old so now we've still got this uh, headlights down at the bottom. A lot of people still using these the driving lights as the main headlights which is a bit of a safety issue for me and at the other end we've got the indicators actually buried down below rather than up at eye height so people may not always be seeing that. Other nice features for the ActiveX we get these quite comfortable leather trimmed seats and we've also got some nice features on the inside. The other thing that this particular vehicle has are these particular folding seats for the second row. That's right, second row, it's a seven-seater. The flexibility of the seven-seater really opens up, so we've got the pull straps on the third row seats, and what happens when we just flick that lever there for the middle row, you've got this beautifully flat loading surface. 440 newton metres of torque from the 2.2 litre diesels, around 144 kilowatts of power. Don't really need to use that power at all, it's all about the torque. The only real issue in regards to how this torque is delivered for this particular engine is if you really need to wind it up, you know, coming from a stop sign or something like that, to get across and do it safely, there's that surge of torque that comes in once the turbo finally comes into play. It sits there, it hesitates, it breathes in and then launches you forward. Whereas in a normal driver, you can actually just sort of squeeze the foot and get away nice and comfortably. ActiveX comes as the second level in the Santa Fe range, so you're missing out on a couple of little things like sat-nav or digital audio. So you do need to have a smartphone and connect up for Android Auto or for Apple CarPlay. Standard drive mode additions activated by the button there, and we get into uh, Sport, Eco, uh, smart which actually learns the driving style of the person who's behind the wheel and it actually does make quite a lot of difference into the way that the car actually behaves. So on the dash itself nice and simple press those buttons and you can see where you've got uh, that information coming through. Also in regards to the kind of information that the car delivers as per usual everything's activated via these little tabs up on the steering wheel column and as you can see we've been averaging around town mainly 9.3 litres per hundred which is a little bit high for a diesel but bearing in mind that this isn't a round town drive get out on the highway and you can easily see that drop down towards 7 litres per hundred. An area where the Santa Fe does fall down a little bit is in the actual braking. Hit the brakes hard and you'll get those Euro style flashing indicators front and rear but it doesn't actually feel like it's stopping as quickly as you'd expect it. So a little bit of planning, especially in heavy traffic, might be the requirement. By adding the ActiveX to the Santa Fe range, Hyundai has really opened it up to those buyers that want something a little bit nice, but without going to the luxury features as found in the Elite and the Highlander. So check it out for yourself at hyundai.com.au. For a Thing TV, I'm Dave Canole.